G'day, mate, and welcome back to Captain History with me, JD. We're on episode three of the wonderful map. You shall not pass! And today we have a few problems I need to sort. Uh, one being, well, our lovely ore sorter back here. It's a little bit full of iron and not nearly enough coal in it. Speaking of coal, we actually have not nearly enough coal because, well, it's heading up to that ore sorter. And although we're digging it up, well, it's being sorted over there, which means it's stuck behind the iron, which is a very big problem. Also, speaking of other ore problems, uh, we don't have any copper. No copper leads to no electronics. No electronics leads to no maintenance. No maintenance equals up the death of the island. So we need to fix that problem as well. Uh, also, we have another, have another big problem, and that is, well, potatoes. I actually just have enough potatoes to maintain the current population, uh, but as we expand the island, as we expand out the people, I'm going to need more potatoes. So that's another problem we need to handle. But before we get to any of that, and so much more, I need to ask a very important question. Of course, uh, the very important question being, well, can I borrow a like? I just like to borrow a like. I like to borrow a like early in the video. If you're not happy with the video, you didn't enjoy the video, well... Well, then you can have your like back if you really have to, but I would much prefer it if I could keep it. At the start of every episode, as always, I like to thank those that go above me on, those that choose to support the channel. And today, we need to thank two brand new YouTube members. Uh, one of them is the wonderful Nicholas Murray, who has chosen to support the channel. Uh, thank you, Nicholas, for becoming a YouTube member. Thank you for choosing to support the channel. Also, uh, over here, we have another excavator. No, this excavator. Uh, this excavator that belongs to Fiona. Fl Fl Floran? Floran. Rickers. Rick is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm always good at names. We all know, always know that I am an expert at pronouncing names. Uh, either way, I thank both of you. I thank you both for supporting the channel. I thank you both for being a lover of the content. All right, so uh, problems. Uh, okay, first off, we have you. If you're full of iron, that means I can't get coal. So the very first thing I need to do is, well, make sure I get this built. We have research continuing on in the background. Uh, there are trees in the way everywhere, but I need to place you as far, well, as close to these trees as possible so I have as much room in front to, well, uh, solve some future problems. We're gonna have this sort coal and copper ore. I really prefer it if it didn't sort too, but I'm sort of stuck as, well, I need to have, um, multi-sorting for right now. Now, I'm not going to set up advanced logistics on any of these. I don't want to get into advanced logistics just yet. If you're interested in how all sorters work and all that sort of stuff, I will link up the top right-hand corner. It'll also be down in the description. Be go about below. All those special places will be a video covering the all sorters, how they work, how to set them up, how to set them up with advanced logistics, all that sort of stuff. Very helpful video. If you're getting into the game and you want to turn on the all sorters, I've seen many complaints about how they work and people are just going, I'm just going to turn them off because they're too hard. They're only hard because you're setting them up wrong. My opinion, but I'm pretty sure with the amount of hours I've got in the game and the amount of hours I've got in update number three, sorry, update two, update two. We won't talk about update three. Not yet, not yet. Update number two, I'm pretty sure that I'm right. So, uh, first thing is all sort of, this should solve my coal problem. Now, the coal that's over here, that's unsorted, I sort of want it sorted. I want this coal, which means I need to get rid of this iron, which is a separate problem that we're going to have to work out. All right, uh, next thing I need to do is I have construction parts one. I have some construction parts two here. In fact, I've got 40 of them. I'd like to put them uh, to good use. And for right now, I don't have anything I can do with them, but I can definitely build a storage and get them out of the machine. And therefore, in theory, I can get more construction parts one being pushed through and... Um, converted is going to put more stress on my electronics which is a bad thing because i don't have any electronics i do have the option for trading the copper if i have to i'm going to try and avoid that for as long as possible but there are other things i want to get done in the meantime all right first thing i'm going to do is we're going to throw down a couple more rainwater catches because i'm going to need the rainwater sooner or later uh we're going to run you into there and you into there these guys just cost construction parts of wood. The good news is I have plenty of wood. Uh, the bad news is I have plenty of wood. I also need another farm to go right about here. There are some trees in the way, as you might notice. Mr. Tree Harvester, uh, the wonderful, no headphones, that is slowly going deaf. That's entirely his fault, not my fault. It's, it's my fault. No, it's his fault. It's his fault. It's his fault he's not wearing headphones, not my fault. He 
he'll he'll he, he'll go deaf eventually once he goes deaf he just won't complain anymore so uh he is chopping through the trees slowly but that means i need this to stay empty so i'm gonna have a notification if this hits full if the, this hits full i'm gonna do something about it in the meantime because these guys cost coal i'm gonna turn them off i'm gonna turn them off on the hope and the promise that I can get a little bit more coal flowing through the colony into buckets like this and um well a little bit more getting a little bit less getting turned to bricks I could trade wood for bricks so that is an option I can also tra trade it for concrete slabs and I can use either of those to make our construction parts one so I have a backup plan I hope I hope I don't really have a backup plan for lack of copper copper we are working on but there's one diggy boy over here who's meant to be finding copper He's just got to get to the copper. And we're going to narrow his dig path down to just one tile. Yeah. He's got to get to about here before he has any chance of finding copper. So it's going to be soon, but I don't know if it's going to be soon enough. All right. So that solves some of our problems. Uh, potatoes, I need to clear out more of the forest. Uh, copper, I need to mine. Uh, one thing I can do if I had more vehicle parts. Where are my vehicle parts? You're doing construction parts as well. Okay, can I have you do vehicle parts? And you're doing your hardest to do that. But of course, you don't have any copper. And our maintenance is currently a global need of 117, and we only make 105. Yeah, yeah. Th th these are problems. These are problems. Problems I'm hoping to sort. Or one problem at a time, hopefully. Okay, uh, so you should get me some vehicle parts rolling... I'm going to turn you on for vehicle parts as well. Because at least then you can do something. Although that requires electronics. Yeah, we don't have a choice. Uh, we're going to trade some construction parts for some copper. It's a really bad trade. I prefer not to do this. But I don't have a better option. I could turn on the beacon. And with the beacon comes new people. The problem with new people is they need new food. And I don't have food sorted. I can upgrade this to a... Actually, that's probably, that's probably something we can do. All right, we're going to upgrade that to an irrigated farm. Now, that also requires electronics, which is going to be a whole separate problem. Uh, but an irrigated farm might get me out of trouble. Uh, to do an irrigated farm, I'm going to need a bridge. Probably... Crap. Uh, I want you to go here. Probably here. Don't stop increasing the population. Uh, okay. Okay. So, if I put a bridge there, I could grab the water pipe. Uh, we're going to run this high, because that way trucks can drive under it. Uh, okay, can I remove that? Okay, we're going to run water from here at maximum height. Now, the trucks can drive under this, but the excavators and the tree harvester can't. Now, some of them are coming around through here still, to get diesel so i can't really block them off but what i can do is i can get this water pipe to uh two tiles four tiles i think it's this tile i think that's going to be the tile for the water input the other one's fertilizer which we're, we're nowhere near and i don't have the construction parts to afford that okay so all my construction parts have disappeared into you along with all my electronics which is bad i've got another I uh, got another truck, but I really need a couple of excavators. We now have access to tree planters. That's nice. Uh, I know you're not accessible. Please don't try and visit it. Problem solved. Go get iron out of the other box. And you're cranking away slowly. Okay. So, we sort of have a plan. I don't know if it's a good plan, but it's definitely a plan. Uh, you are being upgraded. Great. Uh, can I unpause that? And was I right with my plumbing? I was so close. Okay. Uh, that piece I can uni build. That I can't uni build, and that I can now uni build, and then hopefully get that up and running in a second. Okay. Have you managed to clear out all the coal? You have 20 coal unsorted. Okay. And you have a bunch of dirt. That's fine. And any coal coming through here is being sorted for right now. Okay, because I... I, I, I would prefer, it's a preference only, to not lose this coal. 
But to do that, I have to wait for it to go through the sorting system. There's no way to say, hey, don't deliver any more of this resource here. And if I click this button, the seven coal that's in here will get teleported to the shipyard, which is fine. But the other 16 coal that's in here, well, it just disappears. And there's a limitation around the game, the code, all that sort of stuff. I, I'm fine with that because realistically your losses are very low, but also realistically I'm in the early game where losses are losses and I prefer not to have them. Uh, can I get that delivered? Okay, so with that delivered, you should be able to get uh, water, hopefully, providing I have enough rainwater caches and enough tank. Yeah, these are all full. That's good. Uh, and I'm also going to add in... Actually, we'll remove that. So if I just run potatoes all the time, okay... Thank you. Much better. Okay. If I run potatoes all the time, I'm going to have an average fertility of 9.2. Now, if we look at potatoes, potatoes cost 36 water and three months. But, sorry, 36 water per month and 10 fertility per month for three months. If I run the natural green manure, okay, it does a replenish of the fertility. So if I don't replenish the fertility, my fertility equilibrium goes down here. The bottom line is that's my average production, okay? And my water usage is going to be 36 every month. If I put this in, my water usage during the two months we have the green manure is lower. So I'm actually saving a little bit of water and my average production goes up slightly from 9.2 to 9.8. So I actually get a few more potatoes even though I have two months where we're not actually growing any food and I save a little bit of water, which is what really matters currently because I don't have a lot of water. We only have the rainwater. I do have the option of building a pump in the future, but I don't have an option for right now. I, You're not going to ever fill fill. Can I put a second one of these? Uh, because you're sitting around with wood and that means things are not happening. Okay. I have some concrete. Uh, we're going to go 20... 40. As soon as the price goes up, we're going to stop trading that. And then I'm going to trade some of those as well. Uh, can I come in here? I want to grab uh, concrete slabs. I want those pinned. And I want to put those probably with construction parts. Because these two are tied to construction parts. So we're going to get rid of some wood, which gives me more room to put more wood into more storage. And also at the same time, get some of the things locked due to full output. Dirt. Oh, crap. You still have slots. Dirt. That would probably help. Yeah, we should be enable dirt dumping because this bucket's full, which means I could make bricks. Not that I'm making bricks currently. Okay, uh, so we have wood coming in here, which is going to flow straight through, through the front one. The front one has the alert on. Notify me if you're full, please. Did I click the wrong button? I clicked the wrong button. Okay, so I'm going to get alert when the first one fills up. Uh, actually, we're going to set an alert. Notify me if you're over 50% full for the second one, at which point I probably need to do another trade. Okay, do I have a new diggy boy? I do. Okay, can I get a new diggy boy? Where is this mine control tower? Buried in here somewhere. Oh, it's all over there. Okay, can I set new diggy boy over here as well? And we're going to make sure you're also looking for the illustrious copper that we can't find any of. I am out of copper again. Can we do yet another trade? So expensive. Okay, that gives me a little bit of copper. All right. How close are... You found some copper. Okay. All right, perfect. Uh, and you have how many trucks? Considering the drive distance, you have four trucks. And I'm going to need to widen this out sooner or later. Uh, can I add that and that? And hopefully just one of you goes and does that. And the other one sticks to digging up the copper. Uh, digging up the coal, rather. Uh, okay, so you, so now I have to balance this. I have to make sure we don't back up on coal. Also, we don't back up on copper. Copper for the moment should head over here, you know, and should pass through. And I have spare construction parts. So let's add in a storage, uh, the right way around, please. And then we should have, no, 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 no. You gotta go on that top. Yep, that top. Okay, so we should have copper being able to be stored. Uh, you are full of rock.
Okay, we have no way to dump things. All right. Uh, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out this side and hope to not knock over the dock. Like, it, it, it'd be a tragedy if we do. You know, absolute tragedy. And we're just gonna start dumping around the side of the island. Okay, uh, resources wise, there is nothing around here that I want. Not until I get all the way back around here. So we're going to just, for the moment, just start moving this way. Just a little bit at a time. Okay. Uh, so we have done the copper. I need to repair the shipyard. The shipyard is going to cost me 100 construction parts. Am I in a position where I can afford 100 construction parts? No. I don't really have 100 construction parts. But I probably need to click the button anyway. Uh, okay. You've got vehicle parts chewing along. You... Hmm... Let's swap the priority on that. So, maintenance-wise, if our global need... Maintenance-wise, what's your issue? Please don't reach those destinations. Solved. Refresh. Wrong truck. Cool. Yeah. They're trying to drive out to here and dump, and they just, they can't, obviously. They can't drive up the cliff to then yeet things off the cliff. Surprise, surprise. Okay. All right. Back to maintenance. Let me talk through this. All right. So maintenance. We can produce 105 maintenance per month as is. That is if this is running flat out. Now, our current maintenance maxes out 154. So if everything is running, everything is running at peak efficiency, I would consume 154 maintenance. That would be a problem, okay? But currently, with the trucks doing the movements they're doing, the buildings that are on that are currently on, well, I'm only using 102, 110, 114. So we're roughly keeping up. Now I can uni boost this and force the people to work a day shift and a night shift combined with a night shift and day shift. And uh, therefore we'd be a little bit better off. But my other option is I can upgrade this machine. Now to upgrade this machine to the next tier machine, which is a, uh, it produces maintenance at a rate more than four times as much. Well, a lot more than four times as much. I need to have it researched. Now it is in the research queue-ish. It's up here, but it requires the research lab num number two. Now, as for my current research, I'm basically ticking off things that I don't really need, but I do want eventually. Maintenance Depot two is something that I sort of want now, but it requires me to have a research lab level two up and running. Research lab level two requires, well, some lab equipment to actually build the damn thing. Yeah, I thought that was a problem. Uh, can I... So you're using three electronics. You're using potentially... Okay, we're going to turn you off and we're going to turn you on instead. I have copper. I have not a lot of copper, but I have some copper. It'd be nice if you could be fed. Okay. Uh, all right. Back to my statements and my rambles. Okay. So what I really want to do is I really want to have this research. I'd also like to have bigger storage, but that's a little bit further down the tech tree. So what I need to do is I need to have one of the new labs. To get a new lab buildings, there we go. Research lab level one. Now this is going to require uh, me to have 10 science parts to just build the damn thing. And then even after I've built the damn thing, I then need to put the science parts in there to actually make it do the sciencey thing to unlock the next level of science. So I'm going to dump you here. Uh, I am going to uh, clear the queue. Clear, 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 and clear, and just add that one thing. We're going to get a warning about our labs, can't do crap, and then I'm going to instant build you. Then I'm going to go to these labs that now can't do anything, pause them, because they can't do anything, they don't need to run. We're just going to pause them outright, leave them sitting there for a little while. All right, whilst you are now operational, uh, you're going to get some science shoved in you from this machine because we because we pre-built uh, just a little bit of science. That's all I needed. I just want to have this one research done. After that's done, then I'm going to turn this lab back off because when this lab does research, it does it much faster than the basic labs and it can do lower tier science. It's very good at doing lower tier science. Okay. But 
it's then going to cost me materials. I'm not rich enough to afford materials. So I'm going to turn it off. We're going to go back to the basic labs. We're going to use the basic labs until they're burnt out. And then we'll delete them. And then we'll worry about running the good labs. Also need to actually have the parts being made to run the better type of science properly in the future. But that's a future journey problem still. There's lots of future journey problems. All right. I'm going to make sure that you're actually fed. Do I want to set you up so we're going to run two of you? I don't honestly know. How much room do I need if I need to run two of you? I need to have a few tiles. Okay, it's better to spend or have the space for a few tiles rather than not have the space. We're going to set you for copper ore. Uh, we are going to... Uh, I need the belt to go up. Okay, three tiles to go up and then three tiles to go sideways. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go in reverse. Okay, so copper can go at ground level, nice and simple. Uh, my coal needs to come up and then go sideways. And I think I'm gonna go sideways in this direction so I can put the coal bucket cut there. Cool. Uh, that's enough that I can build another copper beside this. You know, assuming the trees are not there and assuming I actually get enough copper ore to feed it. Separate problems, entirely separate problems. Uh, that is the coal. Okay. Coal, can you guys trim a few tiles out of this and two more rows out of that? Yeah. Okay. And copper, we wind you out by a tile already, but can I get another tile? And you also have a fuel problem. You need to drive all the way back for fuel. Okay, so we have plenty of iron. That's a good sign. And down to three coal. We're going to hit the delete button on the coal so I don't have to worry about it anymore. All right. I have plenty of fuel. Now, what I want to do is I want to set this to one bar worth of empty. If it's set to one bar worth of empty, that means that the trucks are going to pick up the diesel from here and take it to somewhere. Anywhere, but not here. And then I'm going to copy that tank and I'm going to put that tank. Well, that's the input for the shipyard. So ideally I'd plug into that, but somebody went and put a giant ship, a uh, giant vehicle depot there instead. Uh, okay, we're going to put one of these here uh, beside the tower. Uh, we're going to remove that. We're going to allow import and we're going to turn that on. Okay, I don't have bricks and concrete. Can I go back in here? Can we trade that button twice and that button twice and hopefully get back to chopping more trees? I know it's been sitting there for a little while, but I'm, you know, one problem at a time. It's still full. It's all right. We'll trade them off shortly. Okay. So you are going to have copper at least one bar. You have coal at least one bar. And hopefully we can get copper running into you sooner rather than later. And you made a little landslide. And then can drive over the landslide, cannot drive over the landslide. But after you've dug up those tiles, can now drive through the landslide again. Okay, where is your friend? All the way down here for fuel. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Okay, so new fuel bucket, it will get filled up after I have construction parts. Yeah, uh, you. So you're doing vehicle parts, you're doing vehicle parts and stuff. You're doing everything still. Uh, why do I have no construction parts one? Just because I had no resources. I still have plenty of twos buffered up. And I now have some electronics, not a lot of electronics, but I have some. Maintenance is still okay, so we're doing all right overall. Uh, you still have science being fed to you. Okay. Uh, so I'm still limited very much by copper, but that is slowly getting there. All right, so my next bottleneck I'm gonna run into is this sorter. This sorter is still doing both copper and coal, and I'd really like it to not be doing both. So I'm going to attempt resource overlay. So we have coal here, which means eventually I'm gonna plow through this whole area. So I don't wanna build it over here. I could build it here, but I'm also going to need to look at some way to ramp down, preferably sort of right here in the middle somewhere, so we can get up and down from this plateau easily. Uh, but that'll also be when we unlock concrete, 
uh, slabs, which I think we've unlocked, but I haven't. I do not have the space to build them currently. Um, and also, I probably want to put them up in this plateau as well. All right, so we're going to grab the ore sorter. We're going to put the ore sorter up here. Uh, we're going to disable coal, and I'm going to enable you to get built. Uh, you are full of diesel. Excellent. Uh, we're going to put the bucket for diesel for the copper guys also up here. So at the moment, they have to drive down to here to get fuel, which is much better than driving all the way to, over to oil. And hopefully we can further improve that by um, having them somewhere even closer to drive to. All right. Meanwhile, uh, I can do that trade before the price goes up and I can do that trade before the price goes up. Next thing I want to do, I want to take a loan. Uh, I want to take a loan for wood. I know you might be saying, Jitty, why are you taking a loan for wood? You have all the wood in the world. And that's exactly why I want to take a loan for wood. So if I take a loan for wood, uh, I'm going to borrow 220 wood, which is the maximum I can borrow. And if I hover over this, I'm going to pay a fee of 22 wood. So I'm going to straight away, it's going to cost me 240 for, for 242 wood and I'm going to pay another interest of 120 on top of that. But when I take this, over time, as I pay back the loan, my credit score and my interest rate are going to go down because I'm a more mm, trustworthy, trustworthy, trustworthy client. So because I'm a more trustworthy client, well, they're going to give me better rates on my uh, loans. Uh, well, they're going to give me a better credit score, which means I can potentially borrow more things. So not maxing out 220. Maybe it's 300. Maybe it's 400. Maybe it's 5,000. We'll see. Uh, but also they're going to lower the interest rate. I think the fee gets changed as well. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to make this loan because I can pay it back easily. Wood is not really an issue currently also means it's going to constantly cost me a little bit of wood, which is sort of a preferable for right now because, well, we're using it for trades. Also have a problem with power right the second, which is not good because this is going to further increase our maintenance by putting another two of these guys right here. Cool. Build those. And that increases due to you being built. All right. So with you now being built, you have zero copper ore. Delete. Problem solved. So you're now doing nothing but coal you're doing nothing but iron and you're doing nothing but copper uh we're going to electronics now we have electronics so it's just construction house i'm short on again okay the coal is now sorted so we're going to unpause you and you which means we're going to start making our own bricks now this is not a good recipe in fact, it's a very bad recipe, very, very bad recipe, uh, and it uses an awful lot of coal. I don't want to be running this long term, obviously. I also don't really want to pay the maintenance on, the, on those, because I'm sort of maxing out my maintenance. But this is about to finish, which means hopefully I can get the upgrade done and be in a better situation. We still have trucks doing a whole lot of deliveries, which I prefer not, but research, go! So close. So, so close. Thank you. Okay, uh, can I get that upgrade? Cool. Currently, we're doing six and three for 105. And as soon as this is done, we're going to be doing a lot more. An awful lot more. Which might mean I need more machines. Okay. We're now do, going to do 24 and 12 for 480. Now, it also gives me a bigger buffer, which means instantly my maintenance dropped. Because it's a percentage of the total buffer. But now I can pump out maintenance a whole lot faster. Which means I am... I, and it's more efficient. So rather than being four lots, so the price, the recipe price increased by a factor of four. Also, the amount of maintenance we got increased by more than a factor of four. So it was 105, it would now be 420, but now it's 480 because we get a little bit of an efficiency bonus as well. So that's very, very nice. All right, so you have science. Uh, can I turn off science? We're not going to make science for a little while. Uh, we are going to go into labs. We're going to re-enable... You and you and you and you and you and you and up oh, you and you and you. Cool. And I'm actually going to turn you off. Although you're going to make researching so much faster, I want to save the lab equipment for later. Much later. Yeah. I'm going to need the lab equipment to make the labs themselves. Uh, these guys cost 10 lab equipment each. Uh, also, like I said, I'd prefer to use them for actually doing things in the future. Yeah. Uh, you use potentially 24 mechanical parts. I only make potentially 10. 
but I'm not running maintenance at 480. I'm running maintenance at around about 120, according to the stats down here. So I'm not technically using 24 every single cycle, technically using about seven. Right now, as we're filling up the buff up, we're using all of it. So uh, Unity Boost it is. Crank that shit out. Okay. Uh, I still have a parts one issue. Uh, okay. Are more trucks going to help me? No. Are more diggy boys going to help me? No. Uh, more storages for trees, uh, for wood going to help me? Yes. Can I get that built? Can I also get that built? Can I go in here? Can I trade that away? And trade that away and trade that away and trade that away till the price goes up. Excellent. Okay. And technically, I need to enable another house. Now, because... Oh, wrong enable. That enable. Cool. Because we have slightly better, slightly better potato production. Uh, oh, oh, and we're out of trees. Okay, cool. If you're out of trees, can I get you to chop these ones? Because these are directly in my way. Have you actually completed? Oh, fits. Okay. Because we're making slightly more potatoes, I'm slightly out of trouble. On top of that, because our previous style of doing potatoes was relying on us having rainwater fall from the skies. I need to unpause the other labs. That would help, JD. I know, I'm all over the place. It's, just, it's, 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 it's part of the early game. There's a thousand and one things to do, and I'm running the game speed at max speed, which is probably not helping, but it means that we're getting through that early game really quick because uh, there's a lot that we need to fit in. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Because previously we were running on rain, relying on rainwater, now we're relying on tank water, which is relying on rainfall still, but gives me a little bit of a buffer. We should be better off, but I sort of want to put in another farm. Now, I have the irrigated farm technology. We've already built that. Uh, well, there's a refugee here I can click on. Uh, balances. Okay, well, let's get rid of some of these. Balances, they balance things. It's not complicated. We haven't built any yet. We'll build some in the future. Uh, we got more refugees some time ago. Uh, ramps, I've already built one of those. It looks like this. It lets the big diggy boys go over the top because little chunky boys can go under a pipe that's one, uh, sorry, two tiles high. But uh, the tree harvesters and the diggy boys have big arms that stick out the top doesn't let them go under you need to build a bridge okay uh we have more refugees we have more refugees we have the research lab too which are already built uh crop rotation crop rotation is where we've put in the manure so that's been talked about as well uh vegetable farming we'll get into and now we're back at that problem where i need rainfall uh can i dude can you just keep chopping just keep chopping chopping and chopping and chopping all right so i need to do a few things First thing I need to do is I need to solve my water problem. Now, water problem, eh, we do have access to a groundwater pump, which I would like to put probably here. Uh, can I get you built? Can I get you built? Now, you're going to cost 120 kilowatts worth of power. Power was sort of okay-ish on. And with a new one of you guys, I'm going to need to get a pipe. And then I need to remember that wherever I build this pipe, if it's on the ground, trucks can't go underneath it. If it's height one, Trucks still can't go underneath it. If it's height two, trucks can go under it. Under it. Also, if it's height three, but no matter what, the diggy boys and the tree harvesters cannot go under this pipe. So, uh, not unless they build them a bridge. So we're going to bring you out that many tiles. I'm going to come straight to height three. I like running things at height three. There's no rhyme or reason. I just like running things at height three. And I need to get to there. So we're going to come across to here. And then I'm going to come down this section. And I can always hold shift to run in a dead straight line. Uh, we're going to run to here. I'm going to come down to ground level. Where do I want to put this in? I actually want to put this in all the way over here. Is there a good way of doing that? Yeah, there is. There is. Okay. Change the plans, right click to go backward. Okay, uh, we're gonna run ground level, ground level, ground level, then up to height three. And then I'm gonna come over to here. Uh, over here, I wanna sort of hug the mountain because at the moment the trucks are driving, well, you can see the dirt piles they're making. You can see where they're driving. 
Uh, excavator, you're not doing anything. That means I need to widen out that dig. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to come around the mountain. Literally around the mountain. Um, on the side of the mountain. Yeah, perfect. Cool. Um, I'm not going to get a bridge here. All right. Uh, we're going to stay nice and high. Right over that section. And then I'm going to plug in... I'm going to stop there. Okay. All right. Can I fix up Copper Dude first? All right. Two of you into the mountain. That way, second Diggy Boy can get active. All right. So, this pipe. This pipe's going to bring in water from that pump. Okay. At the moment, I'm pretty sure I have trucks coming over here, picking up the water and physically shoving it in the farm, which is, works. It's just less than ideal. Oh, they're physically loading up this uh, tank. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have you not import water there. All right. What I want to do is I want to put a balancer in here. Now, part of the uh, new additions, new additions in update two was previously we always had pipe balancers, but they had to go ground level. Uh, I can now press Q and E, just like other things, and now build them up in the air. So I'm going to build that. Uh, I'm going to have a priority in from the tank, from the free rainwater, and then we're going to build that pipe. Now, that pipe is mostly out of the way. Uh, it also goats all the way around the mountain, much like a billy goat, but that's fine because it's out of my way. Yeah, and you shall provide water. You shall bring it down here. We're going to prioritize the free water from the rain towers because if I'm using free water and therefore not running uh, this pump, I'm not paying power, I'm not paying maintenance. Why it's not running? There you are running and make more water. Yep, okay, cool. So you're running, you're gonna take a little while to get through the whole pipe, but once you do, we should be able to get you down here and therefore, do I risk it and put in another farm? Okay, first off, let's look at this. Uh, do I have wood? I do have wood. Do I have slabs? Not really. Oh, uh, loans. My credit score's gone up slightly. My interest rate's gone down slightly. I like this so far. And I still have eight years left. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to put in a second farm. I'm going to press the flip. Yeah, flip button. And I'm going to put the farm right there. And then I'm going to come to here. I'm going to put a little connector on there so we can plug into both of them. We're going to plant uh, more potatoes. We're going to unpause you and we're going to unpause you. So I actually have some of those. I need to remove that boost. And then hopefully I can start making some construction parts too. Meanwhile, no headphones. Uh, can I get you to get yourself over here and chop these trees before the coal guys remove them the hard way? Because I'd prefer to chop them down first. Yeah, and I might even narrow that down to like literally those ones that are about to fall over. No headphones, you'll be fine working on that cliff, right? Yeah, he's got he's got some room to park. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. All right. So I've used the groundwater pump. We don't need to talk about that anymore. I have access to tree planting. We're not going to get that anytime soon. I still have too many trees are in the way. Uh, edicts. Edicts in the captain's office. Uh, we don't have a captain's office. No. Uh, but I do need to repair the shipyard. So I guess we're going to hit that button. All right. Uh, can I? Nope. Uh, have you chopped that lot? And I think we're sort of done with our mass tree chopping for right now. Uh, can I turn on that for you? Yep. At least then you can help out. And fill the ship with diesel. Uh, yes, boss. Fill. And you're gonna want me to load crew. Uh, I have six workers. All right, can we unpause you for a couple of months so I can bring in some more refugees? And then hopefully, before the episode's out, we can take Mr. Shippy Shippy for a quick swing around the block. All right, research wise, we're down to conveyor lifts. Yeah, we still have a few to go. I don't really wanna add a third lab, but it's sort of starting to get close. Okay. So you guys are running fine. You guys are running fine. Uh, I'm going to prioritize. You're doing dirt. You're doing dirt. Okay. Can you do iron? 
and not enough workers too. Ah, because the farm got built. Uh, okay, we're gonna set you to priority 15. That way, if we run out of workers, you're the bottom most item, so you're the thing that stops working. Minus seven. Okay, that's unfortunate. Uh, what else can I pull? I set you really low because of power requirements. Okay, uh, currently we don't have waste collection. Uh, that's okay. We have a little bit of an internal buffer in here. We can store up a little bit of waste in the settlement. I just need, well, 14 refugees to show up in five months. As long as we don't fill up the town in the next five months, everything will be fine. Uh, okay, which means I still can't load the ship with crew. All right, back to these problems. So I want one of you guys to do dirt, one to do iron ore, and then I'm going to start spreading out my dig area just a little bit. Just sort of uh, tidy up this area. Okay. Um, this town. Edit. All of that. Cool. All right. That's number one done. Uh, coal is not maxed out. Uh, we're going to have one of you guys assigned to Oh, that's empty. Cool. Just force a little bit more out. Okay. Uh, we're going to have... Yeah, so I don't want one of you guys to do... You're going to be my victim. Uh, can I get you to do dirt? So you're going to hunt out the dirt, which means there's a better chance the other guy is going to find just rock, uh, just coal when he's digging coal. The idea being, it's an idea, it doesn't always work, it's, it's it's sort of a hit and miss scenario, but the idea is he should find just coal because hopefully the first guy has cleared out all the dirt in the area. The guy who's looking for dirt will sometimes scoop some coal and the guy looking for coal will still sometimes scoop dirt and rock, but it sort of means that hopefully over time you've removed a lot of the waste, a lot of the waste dirt and that sort of stuff and hopefully have a bit more of a cleaner product in the end. Okay, uh, I have enough workers, that's nice. Uh, I need you to go ding another time so I can actually load people into the shipyard. Uh, copper is full. So again, same story here. I want one of you guys to do dirt. And it also means hopefully, this is the other big thing, that hopefully one of them stays active. So we don't end up with a situation where this is backed up entirely with copper ore. It's probably still going to back up entirely with copper ore. Uh, but it also means that, yes, hopefully it keeps running. Hopefully it keeps doing things in the meantime. And I'm half tempted to put down a sorter. I don't have the power requirements. Yeah, I, I half tempted to put down a sorter that just does. No, actually, because if you find just rock and dirt, you can go to any sorter. Because I haven't set up advanced logistics. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so... Uh, how is the town doing? The town is doing okay. We have enough workers. We've alleviated most of our problems. We now have iron coming in regularly. We have copper coming in regularly. I have a decent amount of construction parts one. I have some construction parts two. Mechanical parts are a little bit short on, but I do have multiple machines running on them. Uh, you're sort of doing vehicle parts and then supplementing our electronics or our mechanical parts. Electronics box is full, so that's sort of good. Uh, we're going to have you do the same and supplement both uh wrong button supplement both uh we have no headphones doing a great job of shaving the island one tree at a time and we're just going to keep him up with the good work he has now plenty of storage that he can fill up in the meantime and we're also making bricks reasonably fast it is relying 100 on rainwater which i'm okay with right now because in our next episode, I need to do two things. It's going to be two things, and it's going to have to wait for the next episode. It's going to be concrete production. Also, well, crewing the ship. Crewing the ship, going out and visiting the real world, and seeing how many pirates we can find. But they're going to have to wait for the next episode after the rains, after the storms. And either way, I need to leave this video here. So I'm going to remind you, in episode three of A Wonderful Let's Play, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button by now, you probably should. I'm also going to remind you up the top right hand corner, I did do that tutorial video on, well, the ore sorters, because they're a new part of update number two. Highly recommend you uh, check that out. And if Edo Jetty put any rumors in here for what's coming in update three, 
They're just rumors. They're just a lie. Don't worry about it. Don't read into it too much. Either way, I'm going to leave this here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you in, well, uh, the very next video. All right, bye.